in the box is sounding pretty good nowadays with the real track so um, I think it's a pretty good play along for being done with band in the box um, so I'm just going to play the melody let me make sure I'm in tune here before I start playing <laughs> flat because I'm so the sax is cold okay so I'm gonna turn down the volume and all I'm gonna do is play a simple version of the melody So that's the melody, and I would suggest you get as many. I'm gonna turn up the volume on that. I'm, I, I I would suggest you get as many recordings as you can of um, the melody, and, and you know sax players. But it doesn't have to be sax players, and listen to what they do, and how they do it, how they phrase it, how what you know. Even we we listen to what I just did with the melody. Um, there's certain things. If I played this, you know, ten times in a row, there's certain things that I do with this melody. Um, I'm not sure if I do it ex exactly the same. Actually, I know I don't do it exactly the same, but there's similar things I do. Like, I might go... You hear that run? And there's a run down the G sharp. That time I went, start at the beginning with G, and I added an F sharp, G, and then up to C. There I went A, G sharp A. So basically I add some like runs in between the notes. Um, and you know sometimes people ask me, well what do you play during those runs? Is it a chromatic scale? I, I tend not to do chromatic scales because it sounds too chromatic. It, it sounds... I don't know, like almost like a robot. So I tend to kind of pick notes that fit the key. We're in the key of C for tenor sax. So from G to C, I just go G, A, B, C. Ba, da, ba, da. I think I added G sharp in there. I'm not sure why, but I go G. Yeah, I put a G sharp in there. And then from G or C down the G sharp, it's it's the same notes going backwards with the G 